Riders! <laughs> so I made a video this morning because we had some new information from Dylan Fernandez on the whole Barsha disqualification deal. And, you know, Barsha released the GoPro footage, which it's ironic that GoPro footage, it, it really never gets released because it's owned by, you know, GoPro. So some of it goes missing, wink, wink, you know, but it was released, right? So therefore, when you have more information, you need to have the ability to change your view. However, I'm not changing my view, okay? And let me tell you why. So we've got Dylan saying, hey, this was a just straight up T-bone takeout and he got disqualified. A, you need to remember what the track record is, at least this year. Yes, I know Dylan ended up taking out Craig in the same, you know, huge T-bone deal. So yes, both riders have been aggressive before. However, this year, how many times has one rider been on promotion? probation, had fines, had warnings, etc. right? And this is for 10th and 11th place, guys, okay? This isn't for a win. This is for 10th and 11th place. So let, let's let's watch the GoPro footage, okay? So here's the GoPro footage. Barsha's hauling ass, as usual. He's covering the inside, staying real close to the banners, doing a nice road racing outside in. And then Dylan comes here, pushes him off the track, and boom, boom. Okay, what just happened there? There was no braking whatsoever. Dylan had the pass made. He pushed him off the track. Therefore, the rules state that you have to get on the track in a safe manner. That was not a safe manner. He just coasted and drifted all the way wide to the corner and took out Dylan. There was no effort whatsoever made to slow down. Right Again, I believe that is coming from a writer that has gotten away with murder. It's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. And yes, if you look at the GoPro footage, it looks like, hey, he had the line. He had the pass made. He was pushed off the track. He should have been slowing down to make the corner. But no, it was just sheer coast off, get back on, go from the inside all the way to the outside. He could have stopped and went to the inside and slowed down. But Dylan would have passed him. He would have railed him on the outside, right? That would have been a checkup. Barsha did not check up. That's the whole problem with what this is all about and all the comments and, and everything. And truthfully, a lot of people are going to be behind Barsha just because of his following compared to Dylan's. You know, he's got a quarter, right? This dude doesn't follow anybody, which I think is is super cool, you know, but... Uh, <laughs> But still, he's got a quarter, you know, a little bit more than a quarter of the type of following as Barsha does. Okay, in review here, my opinion is they did the right thing. The disqualification was merited because somebody did not check up and slow down and enter the track safely. This was complete boom. That meant to be... Barsha meant to make contact, and this is the whole retaliation stuff, right? Regardless, these guys had an encounter on the track beforehand, right? Barsha's gotten away with far too much up to this point. So this video, to me, is just trying to say, hey, see, 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 I didn't do anything wrong. In my opinion, yes, it was wrong. MX Sports did the right thing. Bro!